Hello and welcome back to yet another GCSE revision video. Now, when it comes to question number five of language paper two, which is a persuasive writing question, one of the common problems that I've seen way too many students face is literally wasting way too much time at the start of their assessments, at the start of the mocks, and even at the start of their actual GCSE exams. They waste way too long trying to figure out how to start the persuasive essay. They're given a statement, right? For example, is animal, you know, is keeping pets animal cruelty? Is fast fashion good? Is fast fashion bad? Whatever it is, right? And they're asked to write an article, letter or speech in response to this. Do they agree? Do they disagree? They look at the statement, they even maybe come up with a really nice elaborate plan, but then they take absolute ages to get started. And the reason being is because they wanna start off strong, right? They want to make a great impression on the examiner, they wanna show the examiner, hey, I have a really strong handle on this question, and let me show you, you know, from the start, why I understand it, right? And of course it makes sense because examiners, if they see that you're starting off strong, it's like first impressions, right? You then have them on your side and then they're reading your essay and your persuasive writing, looking for reasons to pass you and looking for reasons to give you that grade seven, eight, and nine. So of course you're gonna make an effort, right? So what I want to do in this very short lesson is to show you guys three super easy ways you can save time and start off your persuasive writing essays really powerfully and really impactfully. Save yourself that time at the start by just figuring out and learning some of these phrases, okay? So let's get into the first way and arguably my favorite way to start any persuasive writing essay. And of course this applies to either a letter, article or speech. Regardless, it's equally relevant, okay? So the first way and the first method in starting any persuasive writing is what I call contradiction for friction. What I mean by this is our brains are usually hardwired to respond to some kind of friction or negativity. So what you want to do when you're given a statement and you decide, okay, I'm gonna agree with the statement. So say for instance, I'm gonna agree that, you know, fast fashion is evil, right? Uh, the statement is saying fast fashion is evil, it needs to be um, banned, right? What then you do, once you decide the perspective that you're gonna take, start off by presenting the counter perspective and then immediately saying, I disagree because what that does is you create friction and already you examine a sitting up thinking, oh, okay, this is, you know, this is interesting. I want to see where this argument is gonna go. And you can literally do it as easily as this. There are many people who believe then you include your counter view. So for example, there are many people who believe fast fashion is a godsend, fast fashion is great, yet I disagree. Fast fashion is evil, right? So use this phrase in this statement from the opening of any of your persuasive writing and already you're gonna be creating friction and tension and this is a great way to literally launch into your persuasive writing in a really powerful way. The second way you can start any persuasive writing essay is what I call the one word and rhetorical question combo. What I mean by that is you decide, you know, the question that you're given, right? So for example, another very popular topic is school uniform. Should it be banned? Should it not be banned, right? How you can begin is by starting with say three one word sentences, then you add a rhetorical question to follow on. For instance, uh, another example I'd given was to do with, you know, pet ownership. Is it good? Is it bad, right? So for instance, you can start off that discussion by saying something like dogs, one word, cats, hamsters then you add your rhetorical question. Is it right to keep pets? You are, again, starting off in a really engaging way. Let's go to the school uniform example. You can begin by stating ties, shirts, blazers, three one-word phrases, then your rhetorical question. Is school uniform necessary? Once more, you're starting off in a really engaging way, okay? And the third and final way you can start off any persuasive writing essay in a really, really impactful way is what I call the anecdote before the main, okay? The anecdote before your main argument. Remember, an anecdote is simply a story based on one individual, you give them a name and a surname, and you show how that individual was affected by the issue you're talking about, okay? So for example, right, for me, I always go to my go-to names are Sally Smith who's in year 11 or John Doe who's in year 11, for instance, right? So for example, if I'm arguing against school uniform, I can start off with this anecdote, I can say, Sally Smith had only been in class for five minutes before she was expelled. The reason, trainers, right? So here in this argument, I'm starting off by showing it's so ridiculous having school uniform, right? And then the second anecdote example is John Doe, right? So John Doe is one of many year 11s who believes fast fashion is evil. Again, these phrases and these three easy ways to start off any persuasive writing um, essay 
are not only really impactful, but from the opening, you're not only saving your time, but you're also showing your examiner that you have a really strong handle of the topic that you're engaging in. And really, as they're then reading your persuasive essay, they're looking for reasons to party. They're looking for reasons to show, to, to, un to show, okay, I totally understand that this person knows what they're talking about and I'm therefore gonna give them this grade seven, eight and nine. So I'm looking for reasons to give them that as opposed to you starting on the back foot and then throughout your essay, trying to convince your teacher or your examiner why they should be passing you, okay? So that's really it when it comes to the best ways and the easiest ways in all honesty to write any persuasive essay. Thanks so much for listening.